Oh man. <laughs> I thought we were going over the questions first. Oh, well, we can't. I mean, it's just, we're doing, this is supposed to be off the cuff. So it's it is supposed to be off the cuff. It, is this like the why question or is it, it like... Can be any this, yeah. it's, he's like, it's an open-ended question. <laughs> why do I do what I do? Um, I've been making jewelry since I was 10 and professionally for seven years. And then I decided that I couldn't do bench jewelry and make a living at it. So I, I just, I have to make jewelry. It's just in my blood. So I went to school for CAD design so that I could overcome having a short arm and still be able to produce all of the crazy designs swimming around in my head. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just, it's something that I didn't want to hold me back. So now that technology has advanced to the point where it is, it's easy to, you know, basically do everything with one and a half hands. <laughs> and I don't have to, um, you know, sit at a bench doing this all day. I can make a computer model and then have it produced a hundred times in a day. And, you know, it's, some people think that it's not special if you do that. It doesn't have that handmade factor. But I feel like I put so much love into the design process and prototyping and iterating and making sure that it's perfect and that it fits well and that it's durable that, um, you know, just because I'm not making every single piece by hand doesn't mean that there isn't passion in it, that there isn't love in it. So that's what it is for me.